Hello guys, my name is Miguel. Welcome again to the Information Security Newspaper channel. So remember, we talk about things related with cybersecurity, with hacking stuff. So guys, we are about to start and if you want to get more information, don't forget you can go to our social media. We also got the link of our official website down below and you can view all the content we upload every day also. And if you want to read the content by your, your own, you can do it so. Okay, so let's get started. Okay guys, I wanna know, do you have copies and responses of the information of your cell phone and your devices? You should make them right away. Hey, do you imagine being compromised just by a single text message? Sounds unfair, right? Guys, what will happen if, for example, your cell phone is hacked and your couple is calling you and you don't answer? Will they get mad? Okay, so today we're going to talk about a new malware that is affecting cell phones worldwide and specifically for Android users. So guys, as you know, there are a lot of threats that can hack our uh, data, our cell phones, our devices, but recently it was discovered a new method to hack information. It seems that now hackers developed a text message malware and well, it is pretty dangerous because you just gotta open it and press the link over there, open the website over there and it seems the malware will be installed automatically in your cell phone. And that sounds pretty concerning, right? Okay, so we found out this thanks to the ESET company, that is a cybersecurity enterprise. And well, they just noticed us that the uh, malware is already translated in 40 different languages, which is also concerning. And well, it seems that what hackers are doing, they are sending the text message and they are hiding the malware into a suspicious website. It could be a pornographic site, a site where you can make friends, a site where you can meet people. And well, you just gotta open that and automatically the malware will be installed in your phone. So it seems that when the malware is installed in your phone, they will encrypt your information and also they will use your contact list to send the malware to your friends. So, you gotta be careful, guys. Well, what we found about these uh, hackers is that these hackers are newbies. They are not that experts because they made a lot of mistakes. They were actually trying to replicate the malware WannaCry, but they couldn't do it. And well, that's pretty good news, at least. Anyway, if I were the hacker, I would blackmail a rich guy or specific users so I can request them for a ransom for some money and then I can use the money for my own. Maybe I can help some organizations over there. So guys, as always, we want to make you a recommendation. It will be better for you to make some backups of your information. Also, it should be better for you to install some antivirus softwares. That will be totally better. And well, also, we recommend you not to open messages from unknown sources. Don't open it. Better just delete them or mark them as spam. And also, guys, we think that these hackers are really urged to get some money, like they are desperate. So, it's better for you to know this information. And now, since you are warned, this will not happen to you, okay? Well, guys, I want to know. Did you know that most of the messaging applications can be actually hacked really easily? You should take care of that. Guys, what would you do if, for example, you enter your social media and it seems that somebody posts your chats online? Sounds unfair, right? So, guess what, guys? It seems that the messaging applications can be hacked really easily. And well, I don't imagine myself being blackmailed by some hacker and public my conversations. I mean, I got nothing over there, but come on. So it seems now the application Telegram is being hacked. And well, this is really concerning because they are going against important profiles, important users, such as politicians or actresses. So Telegram is this a huge application. Uh, it's like WhatsApp, for example. So these guys had already more than 200 million users, which is a lot. And well, in previous weeks, it was reported that Telegram was being hacked. Well, approximately they hacked around 2000 different uh, Telegram users, which is a lot. So the company just uh, mentioned about this and they are already fixing this. 
But hey, guess what? I'm not going to tell you how the hackings were effective. Okay guys, so I'm gonna tell you how this works. So it seems that a, well, Telegram, what they were doing is they were requesting a SIM in the name of the users. And well, what they were making is the authentication of Telegram account through the voicemail. So how is this possible? Well, uh, the voicemail service can be protected with a PIN, but unfortunately, most of the users don't know how to use this PIN, like they don't even activate it. What happened is, well, it's a four digit a key, but they don't use it, and well, thus, they can access the voicemail service and then authenticate the telegram of the victim. They were just making a call to the user, and well, if the user don't answer, then telegram will send the key to the voicemail. So what hackers were doing, they were requesting the authentication, but also they were calling the real user so they don't receive the telegram call and then they received the code in the voicemail. And that's how the hackers were entering the telegram accounts. But anyway, now we have good news. After these incidents, telegram just updated its services. They just uh, give out some patches in order this is not happening again. Actually, now if you want to verify your account, the only way you can do it now is by phone call authentication. And well, also guys, as always, we give you some recommendations. So we advise you to, well, even in case you use any messaging application, of course you do. You should also authenticate your uh, application via two steps, which is the call and also the code via text message. And that way you will be safer. So well, I think this is a wake up call for all the companies of communications, for all the applications of messaging stuff. They should improve their security measures, their security configurations. And guys, it doesn't matter if you're famous, if you're rich or you're not famous or you're not rich or whatever, like you should anyway improve the security of your device. Like trust me, that is way better for you and your family. Because remember guys, there's a lot of hackers out there willing to get some benefit of your information or your resources, trust me. Buddies, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the new. So remember, it's pretty important for you to be uh, warned about these topics and as always we just want you to be secure so guys if you got any comments or suggestions please write them down and i want you to please help us sharing the video okay so see you on the next one